I've been receiving a lot of emails from athletes asking me to evaluate their long jump. And a lot of times they are working as hard as they can and I, I appreciate that. They're very passionate about it. The only issue is they're jumping off of their toes and or not creating the amount of height they need in order to jump the distances they're trying to jump. So here's a way to understand the concepts. Tree A stands 6 meters tall. Let's say the wind blows about 5 meters, knocking a leaf off the top of the tree. That tree or leaf will travel about 24 meters. If you have tree B, which stands 12 meters tall, same wind, the leaf will travel further distance because there's more time to travel. And you can see that this formula will put it out to about 48 meters. Now, here's an example of an athlete jumping off of the toes and not getting the proper height. As you can see, coming to the ramp, she should get more height because the ramp is there. But since she's on her toes and the angles are kind of off, she's going to not be able to create the force she wants. And essentially, you see a flat jump. Now, the next athlete stays taller, brings her speed through. And you can see there's a lot more bounce, a lot more height within her jump. Okay, now it's very important to understand that when you're landing flat-footed, you're going to create more force because the force is going to be in one specific direction. Now, as you can see here, she extends and lands too soon because she's used to landing in her old timing. So essentially, when you have greater height, you have more time to create and do more in the air. So next time you guys jump, get out there, bring your speed, focus on keeping your foot flat on the board, running through the board, and getting maximum height and letting your jump take you as far as possible.